So now let us see actually what is mobility here. So see here mobility of the current carriers responsible for flowing the current is actually defined as the magnitude of the drift velocity of the charge per unit electric field. So we can define here mu is equal to mu is the symbol for mobility we can take. So mu is equal to Vd. So magnitude of the drift velocity per unit electric field. So we know Vd is equal to here already we have derived E e tau upon m. So we can write the value of here. So mu is equal to E e tau upon m into E cancel here. So mu is equal to E tau upon m. So mobility of the charge carriers actually inversely proportional to mass. So whether you are taking positive charges or negative charges, mobility is positive for the both, but as it is inversely proportional to mass. So if you compare mobility of electrons and protons, you will get the mass of proton is more than the mass of electron. So mobility for the proton is less than the mobility of the electron. Now SI unit of mobility is you can by just putting the SI unit of all the values here, you can write here SI unit is here meter square per second per volt. So this is here the SI unit of the mobility. Now see a relation between electric current and drift velocity. Suppose you have taken a conductor here of length L. This is the length L is the here of the conductor and this is connected to a cell of V volt plus minus electric field is set up in this direction. Electrons will drift to this side. So we can write here L is the length of conductor A is area of cross section, area of cross section of conductor and now small n is here number of electrons per unit volume. These are the parameters of the conductors. So here a is the area of cross section, L is the length, N is the number of electrons per unit volume. So let us calculate total number of electrons in this conductor. So total number of electrons, total number of electrons is equal to N into AL. So number of electrons per unit volume into volume of the conductor. So what is the total charge? We can take total charge is equal to total charge is equal to E into N A L. E is the magnitude of the charge on an electron. So we have got the total charge. Let time taken by the charge to cross any unit cross section area to pass from here to here through the conductor is suppose T. So we can write I is equal to here in this case. So I is equal to Q upon T. So, E n A L upon T. L upon T is the total length of the conductor and T is the time taken by the electrons to pass flow through this conductor. So, we can write that is the average velocity. So, we can write here I is equal to E n A V D. Here V D is the magnitude of the drift velocity. So, we can write I is equal to here this is actually no need to write another line here. This is the relation between electric current and drift velocity. So now we have got the derivation or the expression for the relation between electric current and drift velocity.